Hi everybody, welcome to this uh, video on uh, Blackboard orientation for our course together in criminal procedure. I am just going to change to student view so that I, my screen mirrors uh, pretty much what you will see. Everything below the orange uh, is what you should see when you come into criminal procedure. There are two sections to the Blackboard page, one that runs along the left-hand margin, which is called the uh, course map, I believe it's called. Um, sometimes that is, uh, I'm sorry, it's called a course menu. If you should um, find yourself viewing Blackboard with only the course content window showing uh, to access the course menu, Go over to the left-hand margin, find the arrow uh, button, click it, and the course menu will open. The landing pay, landing spot through this uh, entire Blackboard site is course content. So if you should find yourself somewhere lost in Blackboard in this course, uh, make sure you go to the course menu, click on course content, and uh, this is what you will see when you um, when you land there. The course menu contains announcements. You should be receiving those announcements on email as well as you can check them here on your Blackboard site. The uh, glossary for this course, which is going to be extremely important given all of the new terms and concepts that we'll be covering, um, that is here. You are working in groups, as you know, and you should be able to, um, by clicking on the groups link, in your course menu, find the name of your group or the letter of your group and the members, uh, the group members. And there are um, tools that you can use from that group setting to email and share documents and uh, do some work together that might be facilitated using some of those tools. Your grades in this course will be posted on the Blackboard Gradebook, and you access that by clicking on the My Grades link in the course menu. If you have questions of a general nature, I encourage you to use the questions forum so that other students can see your question and my answer. Your syllabus is posted here, um, and obviously everyone should make sure that you print out at least the uh, course schedule and what your course is, I'm sorry, what your grade is based on. Um, the course schedule is in um, in color, and it is helpful for you to have a color copy of those uh, three or four pages. Okay, moving over to the course content. The first module um, contains this video as well as the syllabus overview video. The second module, designated by the course folder, is a description of your textbook. Your textbook does have um, discussion and review activities, including reference to worksheets and sometimes reproduction of those worksheets. It includes short videos. Um, there are uh, also case exercises and case study sets, which you'll be working with um, throughout the semester. I'm going to jump ahead from this description of the textbook down to the first chapter in the textbook, which is approximately uh, a little more than halfway down the page. Each chapter is numbered and named. Um, a menu of what you can find inside the learning module is listed here. The textbook pages itself are here. Worksheets that are um, you're asked to or required to prepare for class are here. Handouts um, that you will need to uh, complete some of your uh, class preparation, class engagement activities will be here. Um, references or the actual uh, model jury instructions for important concepts in our first chapter together are here as well. So as I open it, um, you can navigate the each chapter's learning module either through a written table of contents or page by page, whichever you find most convenient. To open the textbook, you from the table of contents. The textbook will always be the first item in the chapter. 
learning module. If you click on it, it will open. Um, and here you go, you will be in. Um, the, in a, the, hopefully you have already gone into chapter one. You understand how to uh, navigate through the textbook, um, how to find the materials that you need for your assigned class engagement activities. Uh, the um, You are required or expected to read all of the chapter and view the videos that are embedded there. Included in the textbook chapter are um, worksheets, some of which are assigned to a particular team to complete um, as part of a class, class engagement activity. Um, I strongly encourage all students to complete those worksheets. They are uh, typically very helpful, uh, particularly in preparation for exams. So that's some sort of a quick uh, look at the textbook. If you have any problems um, or concerns, please do let me know. Back to the start of where Blackboard Landing takes you, which is uh, the course content and the course menu. Uh, I want to move down now and um, important, the third um, segment is all the assignments and graded work in this course. Uh, this, when we open it, you will see that there are files for the six graded assignments that you do. Uh, there are uh, group case exercises that you will do instructions for how to do those group case uh, exercises in class engagement activities, and then a file um, for your group research and writing project, which will, um, those materials will be coming and we'll spend a class period going over that as well. So um, attendance and class engagement, um, how it's graded, what you're expected to do, that's 10% of your grade. Um, instructions for how to prepare for those um, in-class engagement activities um, or other group case exercises that you'll be working on, um, those are provided here. Please look them over and let me know if you have any questions. I'm trying to be as transparent as possible and give you the guidance um, for you to be successful in this course. Uh, all of the assignments, as noted, um, can be accessed. Um, the wrongful conviction research, group research project and, uh, will be, uh, as I said, materials will be here. And I'll talk more about group graded uh, case act exercises in the video covering the syllabus, so please make sure that you um, watch that video as well. Scrolling down past the assignments and graded work in this course, you uh, also have access to the uh, important glossary, which is uh, located here. I, you need to have a copy of that glossary available to you electronically to use in class please make sure that you are using it. Um, other course policies and guidelines are located in, uh, in this folder. Tips for success in this course are located in that folder. Some additional course resources are, uh, are noted here. If they are, they are referenced in the textbook, if you are required to, to look at those, you will be directed appropriately. Um, for those of you who are Considering, and I strongly hope that you will, doing an internship, I have posted materials uh, that I've developed working in the internship programs um, at other colleges, and um, those are here for your resource and referral. Your coordinator at Bridgewater State University is Dr. Um, Ortiz, and um, I provided her information as well. So that's pretty much it, chapter by chapter, the textbook, worksheets, uh, any required reading, anything that you have that you're required to read above and beyond, which is in the textbook, is noted and uh, linked as well. 
and uh, each chapter again starts with the textbook. The worksheets are embedded in the textbook, however, um, they are also separately posted to each chapter to facilitate your use and completion of those. Any required reading that you need to do um, is, as I said, noted. An optional reading is there as well. And um, so it goes chapter by chapter, uh, textbook, worksheets, required reading, and uh, there we are. We've got it. So if you have any questions, if you are uncertain, you need a one-on-one -on -one a short meeting so I can demo this for you. Please, by all means, let me know. Um, I do have a sign-up sheet for uh, uh, regularly scheduled appointments, and also um, you are free to, and I encourage you to email me if you'd like to have an appointment on a Monday, Wednesday, or Friday when I don't already have um, regularly scheduled appointments. I'm happy to do that. So please shout out and um, I look forward to having a great semester.